I don't see how it helps us coming in early. Well, you guys start us today. We've got to get a head start on it. Make sure he does not get that award. If he's better than us, what difference does it make what time we get here? Yeah, whatever time we get here, he'll just be better than us from eh? the time. You guys just do not get this, do you? It's not a contest. It's, it's a no-holds-barred fight to the death. Marita Rain Sarsa, what a lovely name. Thanks. Have you found that insulin? The paramedics told us she was diabetic. Dad, don't fuss. It's called Bentilin. B E N T I L L I N. She's allergic to all other synthetic kinds. That's unusual. So don't you carry it with you? Always, which is why it's now at the bottom of the lake. Oh, so when's her next shot due? About now. I'll see what we've got in pharmacy. Thank you. So how is well, she? Her body temperature is a bit low, but a warm saline drip should do the trick. That's trip. just salt and water, right? Because we don't want anything. Anything that's been that's... tested on animals. <laughs> okay, this might sting a bit. Okay. Yeah. So Marita, that's a cool name. Where's that from? You know, copper woman's daughter. All oh, right. Yeah, that Marita. <laughs> so do you live in Holby? Oh no, Selin Cove, in Cornwall. We're visiting Uncle Phil. So is he related to copper woman too? This is Mr. Sarson. <laughs> All right, mate. Let's take a look at this. Ah, oh, yeah. We've got a deep laceration across the vermilion border there. I think that's a job for plastic. The surgeon should be free in about two to three hours. No, we just want to go home. I mean, couldn't you just do it? I could try. Don't really think that's a good idea. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. If you need any help, give me a shout. OK. Just numb this puppy and we'll get cracking. No, no anaesthetic. Yeah. I'll deal with it. Okay. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Most people take all the pain relief they can get. Well, I haven't taken anything that was tested on animals since I was a kid. Well, that's like pretty much everything, See, right? I used to be a beta for the local gamekeeper. I'd chase out the grouse and fat businessmen would blow them off the face of the earth. Nice. I realised I liked the birds a lot more than the idiots shooting them. So your daughter followed in your footsteps? <laughs> no. Moita made her own mind up and she was only four years old. Yeah? What happened? I saw Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Phil's here! I got here as quick as I could. Oh, what a mess, eh? Well, are you both okay? That's the main thing. We're fine. Mr. Sarson, we've checked, and we definitely don't stop Bentolin. Who's your normal supplier? Jacob's chemist in Penzance. Yeah. Are you allergic to animal insulin? No, but it comes from pigs and cows. She's serious. We're both up. Aid, mate. Can't you bend the rules just this once? This isn't about rules. This is about who we are and what we believe. What's happened to that insulin? We're in the process of phoning around all the local pharmacies to see if anyone stops it. <sighs> I'm still thirsty. Well, can you give her some more fluid? Yes, but that will only stabilise her for a while. She's diabetic and she needs insulin. End of story. How about it? Look, you and Mo almost drowned today. If this doesn't count as an emergency, then what the hell does? Well, that's just great aid. What do you think? I think you should phone our legal department and see what our position is. It's falling. Marita, there's nothing there. I need to catch it. Oh. Mr. Sarson. Come on, let's go. I know that. Okay. Come on. Look, I really think this has gone on long enough, don't you? Yes. You can't find the drugs she needs, so now it's our fault for inconveniencing you. If we don't treat her now, she will go into a coma. Whereas if we give her insulin, you and Marita can spend the rest of your lives being as principled as you, you like. You don't understand, do you? Marita wouldn't want a single animal to die just so that she could live. She's 15 years old. I really doubt she's thought it through. If we forget about the rights of animals... Baby's dropping. And she's tachycardic. 
Right, how's she doing? Not good. We just head for the picky oh, team. Ventolin's on its way, so it should be about two hours. She's having quite small respirations and she's going into DKA. This is crazy. I've had just about enough of this. There's nothing you can do. Except give her insulin. Yeah. Oh, what, seriously? Kieran, maybe we should talk about this first. If we waste any more time, she could end up with brain damage. If anyone asks, I'll say you tried to stop me. This is my call. You can't just do that, man. It's... I know. I bet you wish you had. The pressure's stabilising. BM's down. Looks like it's working. Now comes the tricky part. She's looking better. What happened? I gave her insulin. So the Bintelin turned up then? Yep. Pretty lucky, and eh? That's what you used. God. I'm sorry, darling. So what? what's your name? Dr. Fletcher. Although after today, possibly just playing Kieran Fletcher. I just want to say thanks. That's all we do. Looks like you might have got away with it. Maybe. Do you fancy going for a drink to celebrate? <sighs> Sorry. I'm meeting someone tonight. What's she like? Fourteen stone, a beard, halitosis. It's a landlord. Sorry, I better take this. Hi. Yeah, what have you found out? I'm sure she was at Moises Hospital at the same time as Mr. Jordan. No, that's brilliant. Thanks. What's up? Locks bust. Just as well you ain't got anything worth looking, then. Oh, I need a word with you in my office, please. Now. I heard about your little exploit with the insulin. Ah. You broke the rules. You acted before we'd been given the go-ahead. That was not your call to make. I know. But you got away with it. Well done. Don't you ever put a stunt like that again. I'll try not to. Off you go. Look, there's something else I need to talk to you about. What? It's kind of personal. <laughs> Sorry, I don't do personal. Talk to Sister Bateman. Don't you think you better hear what it is first? Hello, it's Nick Jordan here. Yes, I've been trying to get hold of you all day. Not until you hear me out. Sorry, can you hang on a sec? Dr Fletcher, you have already been given one stay of execution today. There won't be another. Either leave now, or don't bother coming back in the morning. What did he say, then? Congratulated me. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, I reckon if it was up to him, he'd give me the award right now. But who cares what Jordan thinks, anyway? I'll drop my stuff off later, yeah? Yep, see you then. Oh, hang on, what's this? Do you want to tell him, or shall I? Kieran needed a room. We've got the space, so say hello to your new housemate. You've got to be kidding me, man. 